Hello again. Temperatures rising a little bit over the next few days. It's going to feel more humid through Friday and into the weekend. Still fairly breezy on Friday and some heavy showers around. Not everywhere seeing them, but for some we could get uh, quite a few downpours. Now it's low pressure dominating, but it's sitting to the south of the UK, not moving very far. The wind's spiralling in from the North Sea, bringing a fresher feel here. And this weather front doesn't look much, but it's going to really bring quite a wet night over parts of northeast England. The rain continuing to feed in here uh, to the east of the Pennines, where we could see 30 to 40 millimetres of rain, maybe 60 or 70 in one or two spots over the hills. And that uh, kind of rain could cause a few issues, the potential for a bit of local flooding and certainly make for some pretty bleak conditions out on the road. So there is a yellow warning in force. Elsewhere, a few showers around through the evening, but they do tend to fade. So for many, it'll be a dry start to Friday and uh, quite a, a mild night as well with a, a brisk breeze continuing to blow. Clearer skies across northern Scotland. Temperatures here down to single figures. And some sunshine again across the northwest of Scotland. Elsewhere, quite a cloudy start. And band of rain over northern England expanding into Northern Ireland. So turning quite soggy here on Friday morning. And that rain will eventually creep into parts of uh, southern and eastern Scotland. All the while in the south, we're going to see cloud increasing once more and another band of showery rain pushing northwards. That could contain some heavy downpours and some thunderstorms are possible too across the Midlands, parts of Wales in particular. Some brighter spells in between those rain bands, especially in western areas with the breeze continuing to come in from the east. And in the zone where it brightens up, that's where we'll see um, some of the top temperatures. It will be a warm, humid feel out of that breeze with highs of um, 20, 21, 22 degrees. Western Scotland, parts of East Anglia and the Midlands. But on the east coast, with that breeze off the sea, and particularly where it stays dull and damp, across northeast England, southeast Scotland, temperatures are really going to struggle. That rain will continue to track into northeast Scotland on Friday evening. The next band of rain spiralling into uh, North Wales will then push into Northern Ireland and will continue to feed showers into parts of eastern England as we go into Saturday. All the while you can see that low pressure continuing to dominate. Much of the south will start the weekend dry, but any sunshine is likely to trigger heavy and possibly thundery showers. They'll be hit and miss, not everywhere catching one, but if you do see one, well, as I said, it could be torrential. There will be some sunshine, and uh, in the sunshine, the winds will touch lighter, perhaps on Saturday for some, and it'll feel really quite warm and humid, more widely temperatures into the 20s. But all the while, with the breeze coming in from the North Sea, eastern Scotland, northeast England, grey, misty and murky, and on the cool side. So quite big contrasts this weekend. Yes, chilly on the east coast, but elsewhere, a warmer feel and more humid feel. There will be some sunshine, but also watch out for some thundery showers too. Make sure you stay up to date with the very latest from the Met Office by following us on social media.